All right, let's go ahead and take a look at an osteon of compact bone. So these are the basic functional units of bone. This is what bone is made up of if you zoom in a lot. So this will be really helpful before you dive into the histology of the bone, and it will give you kind of a map of how a bone is de designed. All right, so basically you have the concentric lamellae, these circles within a circle, which is what concentric means. Um, and lamellae means plates. So these are actually hard, bony plates that are in circles within circles. So the name should make some sense. They're indicated by the number five right here. So that's what makes up a single osteon. That's really what we're looking at. And we also have other lamellae. So let's deal with those right now. Number six is indicating um, what are called interstitial lamellae. So remember, interstitial literally means between. So these are the plates between the osteons. And there's a third type of lamellae that you're going to run into throughout bone as you scan around, but you can't really see it in this model. And so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this one. And this is a nice drawing that's probably in one of your textbooks or lab manuals. And here, here's our osteon with its concentric lamellae, but the circumferential lamellae, are the, that's the third kind, and it goes around the outside of the entire shaft of the bone. And so you'll have to kind of zoom out to see this one, but that kind of closes the book on lamellae. So then as we look at how this model is put together, uh, we can see that they're indicating cells on this side, all these red guys with the blue, or kind of cayenne color inside. Uh, but then over here you have depressions that are indicated, and these depressions are representing the place where the little cells live. So always make sure um, if you're on it, if someone's asking you about this or you're having a conversation, be clear that when you're talking about these little depressions, you're talking about a structure, not really a cell. And these structures are called lacunae. Over here, the red things that are circled, those are actually cells. So make sure you preface your statement or your answer with the fact that you're describing cells, not a structure, because this cell is called an osteocyte. These are the osteocytes that if you um, could measure exactly what they're doing, you would call them either an osteoblast or an osteoclast. Uh, but on most models and under the microscope, you're really just going to be picking out and referring to them as osteocytes. Then the other structure here, these little blood-like things dripping off of the cells, um, they're not really blood. What they are are little projections of the osteocytes. And they're actually little cracks within the lamellae. They're called canaliculi. So little cracks that are going to connect neighboring cells. And that's pretty much it for the cellular structure over here. The last thing to point out, which you'll definitely see under a microscope too, are what are called the central, or also known as the Haversian canal. I'd obviously use the central term because it makes sense. Haversian's just some dude's name. So these are where you're going to find blood and veins, and, and sorry, arteries and veins, both carrying blood. But that's going to su supply nutrients to bone. And remember, bone's incredibly vascular. Bone is, remodels constantly. And so there's a significant impact of blood vessels flowing through an entire compact bone, and you're going to find them in the center of each osteon. And that is pretty much it for this one.